Hey, it's Grady, Twin Creek Audio. Today I have a really cool, kind of a sleeper vintage guitar. This is a 1958 Vega SG99. This guitar was made by Vega in Boston in the late 50s and they were made through the early 60s at least, although I'm not sure of the exact dates. I'm not sure of the exact time they started manufacturing these, but I believe it was in the early 50s although the body style was a little bit different and looked more like a Les Paul Jr., which is what this guitar is most similar to with the single, single coil pickup, volume and tone controls. It has a set neck, mahogany neck. Nice mahogany neck. I believe the body is also mahogany. It doesn't feel like it's heavy enough to be maple. This one has some beautiful finish checking and as far as I can tell, this is all original. It's definitely the original single coil pickup. The Vega company existed in Boston, and I think they had two different factories. The original factory before roughly 1961, then they moved to the second factory. The company was most famous for their banjos, and Martin, C.F. Martin Company, actually bought the brand name Vega in 1970. Mainly bought that for the line of banjos that they made. And so a lot of the more recent Vegas that you see, banjos and such, are gonna be imported guitars. This, however, is one of the original American-made Vega solid body electric guitars from the 50s. I did a lot of research on this guitar because they're pretty rare. Not very many of these around. You can find them. Several people I talked to on the internet have owned these things or still own them. Some people say they used Franz pickups. They were made in Queens, New York, and that's what this could be, although some of the pictures of earlier SG99s made by Vega have a different pickup than this. The pickup looks like a P90, but it's not really a P90. On this pickup, the pole pieces themselves are the magnets instead of having a bar magnet. So this particular pickup looks like it could be closer to Fender designs from the 50s. It has a nice rosewood bridge, compensated saddle there and this kind of unusual slotted tailpiece that I've also heard you see this on some of their steel guitar models from the 40s and then they reappeared on the solid body guitars that Vega made in the 50s so that's kind of interesting as well. This example has a lot of finish checking but it just gives it a lot of character. It actually is in playable condition. The electronics all seem to work it's a little bit noisy, as you'll see here in a minute when I demonstrate it, but not too bad. The playability is really good, even though it does have kind of skinny, small vintage frets. The neck doesn't need a reset, so it actually is very playable right now. All I really did to this guitar was clean it up and put new strings on it. It's even still the original tuners, and it is staying in tune very well for its age. I mean, this is a... 60 plus year old guitar and you've got nice low action all the way up and down the neck is playable still weight i don't have a scale here but the weight i would say it's probably about seven pounds so not too heavy but not super light either take another look at the back of this Try to get this all on camera really nice for you so you can take a look at the, the guitar front and back. And the sides, look at this cool strap button up here. So it has this strap button here on the top horn that's connected to the body. And then you've got a hole down here. And this guitar came with what I believe is the original strap which has the peg for this end of the strap down here. You can see a nice tortoiseshell colored plate there for the output jack. Pit guard is like clear lucite possibly and it's painted with a gold metallic flake paint and it has a sort of creme brulee finish on it. It's a sunburst finish I think. It's obviously hand painted. The construction of this guitar is really cool and the playability is absolutely excellent. For the age and the wear and tear on this, it is a killer guitar. It plays and sounds awesome. I'm extremely impressed with this. These things are really uncommon. 
I mean, I'm not really sure what the production numbers of the solid body Vegas. You'll see the ho the hollow body Vega guitars a lot more frequently than you do these solid bodies like this. So keep an eye out for those. Based on the quality of this guitar, I'd say any of these would be an excellent vintage guitar to buy. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this. I'm gonna hook it up and play it. This guitar seems to be really touch sensitive when running into the amp, so I'm running the Hot Tone Britwind Nano Legacy Floor Amp with kind of a medium gain because the output from this pickup is pretty low. But I set this thing where it's got a lot of sensitivity, a lot of touch sensitivity. So let's check out how it sounds.
I love this guitar. I love this Vega SG99. This is such a killer sleeper vintage guitar. These are really rare and this thing is just exceptional as far as the tone and playability of something like this. I just love it. And of course I love the history of it and I love the fact that it's broken in. This thing has a great vibe and it sounds killer and plays great. Well, I very much hope you enjoy getting to check out the vintage 1958 Vega SG99 electric solid body guitar. I very much appreciate everyone watching. Thanks so much to all the new subscribers. Please like this video and subscribe to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel if you have not done so already. And I hope each and every one of you out there has an excellent day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond. Whatever it is you're having, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching.